Thank you so much for, for how are you doing? You look so good. Thank you. Doing great, and you? I'm good. I'm excited to make paella. I've never made it before. Oh, it's very easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. Very easy. How are you doing? Okay, perfect. So I know Buya is selling paella kits. And so you guys hooked me up with a very special chicken paella kit. I know you're also selling beef uh, and seafood with shrimp and calamari. Is that right? Yes, yes. And clams, yeah. So we have What's those. We, we present it like this with all the ingredients and we send you a recipe and you can make it at home. I'm excited. I know it should be easy for everybody, but I'm so excited to be able to do it alongside a professional chef today. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's do this. You have everything sectioned out for me. Let, let's let's jump right into it. Awesome. So first of all, I'm gonna take my mask. I'm in a private room. I'm alone, so I'm gonna okay. Do this so you can hear me much better. Ow! <laughs> uh, first thing you're gonna do is set your oven. You're gonna see in your recipe that at the end of the, the process, you're gonna have to put your paella in the oven for a. Okay. Uh, for 400 degrees, you set it before you start. So at the point that you need to put it in the oven, the oven starts now. So 400 degrees fine. Once you have your oven set, you put your paella pan. Mine is a little older, it's, uh, it's cured. We're gonna say it's cured. It's one of my favorite paella pans because it's, it's nice. Uh, we also, with the paella kits, we include the paella pan, a brand new one dog, and uh, an apron, just like the one you're wearing, right? This is the one that you guys, that I got from your kit. Yes. Which you had to you had to prep the pan, right? What does that mean? Oh, this is just as many all the times that we cook paellas, you know, and, um, and it just turns that color. Oil, you know, we, we at the end of the night we spray with a little bit of oil and uh, it's secure. Okay, easy. Easy, yeah. So we're gonna turn on the 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 burner or the gas at home and put it on high, and we're gonna add first the two ounces of Blended oil, which is 80% of 20% sunflower. Right there. Ooh. That's gonna start uh, heating up a little bit. Okay. And part That's the chicken. So this is chicken thigh. We use chicken thigh because it has much more flavor than chicken breast. I think it's And we're just browning it. By the, I spray it out in the pan. I'm not on. Oh, it's a sizzling. It's sizzling. Yes. So you spray it on the pan to get a nice, uh, nice color. First, it's gonna say about two minutes until you get a nice golden brown. And you have three and a half uh, teaspoons of salt in the kit, half a teaspoon or like a nice medium pin is gonna be for this chicken. The rest is gonna go after. The chicken, you wanna add the mushroom, you use four little mushrooms. Okay. So the, the chicken is gonna keep getting some color while the mushroom You can get those mushrooms tender, but not overcooked. You don't want them much. And I would say about a minute. You're gonna uh, feel them with the chicken, get a little bit of oil. It already looks really good. It looks so good. Oh, okay. I see So, uh, in about 30 seconds, we're going to add the rice. What we use is called Bomba or Valencia rice, the special rice for, for paella. It doesn't overcook easy. It doesn't get too soft. It maintains that al dente uh, consistency that we want with the paella. And it keeps it thick. That's very important. In Spain, rice is a full science. So, uh, the right one right here. And right after we add the rice, we're going to add the, what we call the sofrito pepper, onion, and tomato all cooked together for hours. Right there. That's a little bit of picada. All right, I'm a little slow. We just added the sofrito and the picada. 
Maybe you may want to put a little bit of flavor. We have the salt. Mix it for a few seconds while you put the rice starts sticking to the pan. We're going to add the stock. It's a chicken and saffron stock. And now it's quiet. Beautiful. You move it a little bit so you make sure you get on that bottom. If you have any anything that's stuck to it, and mix all those flavors so the stock can carry them. And just let it sit. We're gonna wait until the stock starts boiling, and right after that, we're gonna the heat to medium, so it has a nice simmer, and it's gonna cook for about six to seven minutes until you can see the rice starting to come up or the stock coming down too. And after that, it's gonna go. It's hard not to lick the spoon. I <laughs> know, it's all that, <laughs> the, uh, the garlic. But the chicken is not fully cooked yet, so there we go. Okay. You're the chef, I'll do what you tell me to. Hey chef, what's in the sofrito? In the sofrito we have uh, a lot of onions, Red peppers and green peppers, paprika, garlic, white wine, and uh, tomato juice, and we reduce it. We cook it for about three to four hours until it's almost a case. So that's great that you're and you're giving it to us basically in a little container. I don't have to make any of that. Yeah, that's all. That's all made here in house. Everything that you get is uh, made in house. The stock and the saffron uh, and all that. So that's the that's the cool thing. You you save a lot of time, a lot of prep, and you still have fresh ingredients. Chef, should it still be on high this whole time? Yeah, now it's starting to boil. When it starts to boil, you yeah. move to medium, medium heat, right there. Okay. And you're looking for a simmer, for a nice, even simmer. Your pen might look different than mine. I have one of these uh, burners, so you, you can actually see the ring where the actual fire is coming up. Wow. Right there. Yours is definitely more professional. Do you want to see mine? Well, you can't see it. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about paella? Yes. So paella is a traditional Spanish uh, dish, like uh, most of you know. And uh, the, the origins are, are kind of like people still fight about it, but Valencia is the place where uh, everybody thinks the, the paella. They used to use whatever they farm. That's why uh, a traditional uh, Paella from Valencia has rabbit, it has uh, uh, string beans, and, and those kinds of things, greens. Uh, basically, the, the paella pan, the actual pan is called paella. Then, years after, probably two or three hundred years after, the, the first recipe calling the dish paella was, uh, was introduced. The, the secret here is that, you know, some people cook it all the way in the, in the burner, some people finish it in the oven, that's more traditional, finish it in the oven. And what you need is a thin layer of rice with a lot of flavor. And really the ingredients that you have around your area. That's why depending on what part of Spain you go, you have different traditional paellas from, like I said, beans and rabbit to seafood to beef, depending on what that region is, is known for. Rabbit sounds delicious. And we make them the same way I'm making it right now. To order, you know, when you order your paella, in the menu says, you know, you might want it between 30 and 35 minutes. It's fresh and uncooked at the beginning and fresh every time. So, Chef, you're from Argentina, right? Not Spain. Argentina, yes. But we have a they, lot of influence. Is paella a popular dish in, in Argentina? Yes, we make it. We don't make it the Spanish way. Ours looks more like an arroz con pollo, a little more like uh, more like Latino way. Yeah, so not so not so dry, not so thin. Uh -huh. We have a dish here, Abuya, called which means uh, with a lot of stock, and it looks more like that. Okay. But you were sent to Spain to perfect your paella recipe, weren't you? What's that? You, you, were, you, were, you were sent yeah. to Spain, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, we had the, the chance to try paellas, a lot of styles of cooking, and uh, write everything, everything down, and then, you know, try to. Oh, what? yeah, do you want to look at it? Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, it's almost there. You're a little, a little ahead of me. Yeah, it's almost there. Okay. Yeah, and see, if we're not 
touch, but not going to touch the paella, the paella much more if you see that, for example, all the chicken is on one side of the pan and all the mushroom on another. Right now, before it goes in the oven, you can move it around so it looks more even. If that's, you know, what you need to do right now, mine looks pretty good, but still, you know, you can move around because then you don't okay. want to there. You don't mess with the rice. I'm gonna get the. I'm so excited to eat this. I should have eaten first. Start seeing that rice coming out. The, the liquid produced a little bit. You see the rice popping. Nice simmer. And that's when we're gonna take it off the burner and take it to the 400 degree oven for about seven minutes. And I'm still on. Uh, halfway well, from those seven minutes when it's in the oven, you're gonna put the artichokes. Uh, an easy way to not forget to do this is also putting them right now, right here. It's for half. So we're gonna. So I should do it now? Yeah, I think, I think it's a good the oven midway, and I like when the artichokes get those, the, the tips a little crispy. I like that. So you push it a little bit so they stay in place. Okay, I'm gonna do mine too. This smells so good. You guys see that? Bam. Part of the kits that they're selling at Booya are these amazing sangria kits, and you can get them red or sparkling wine. Uh, I naturally have sparkling like my personality. And so let me just, I don't have a fancy picture right now. Oh girl, you know what I should have done was open it up. See that? Turn the bottle is an old trick. Oh girl, it's, it's popping. I'm gonna use this pickle jar. We also have this amazing pre-made liquor mix, and it's got uh, schnapps, peach schnapps, and triple sec already mixed up for you because it's fancy. Put that right on in. The other half of this. And did you see how that other fizz has already gone down? Perfect. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. A little bad baby pat on the back there. Get rid of it. Yeah. Throw it out in the back. And fresh fruit. Because if you're not fruity enough, you need some fruit backup. So we'll put this right in. Bad baby. Get rid of the container. And it's done. Sangria. Serve it over ice. Or, or there's that. <laughs> it funnels like a lot of like, <laughs> a lot of bubbles going in my face. A little ice helps. A little ice would be great. But who am I, the queen of England, you know? <laughs> Okay, it's been seven minutes. Uh, now's the time to look in the oven and we'll see what it looks like. And the chef will holler at me if he thinks we're good to go. It's looking yeah, pretty look ricey. I think he's ready, yeah. I need to! <laughs> Let me get my oven mitts. All right. Not only because it's hot, but it also keeps the rice keeps hydrating. We still let it rest for about three to four minutes. And while it rests, I'm gonna add the green peas on top, a little bit all over. One, one, and that is it, that is ready. So by the time you get to the table and everybody starts uh, uh, getting a little bit of it, you'll be ready to go. The world could always use more peas. Chef, do we need to add any more salt to this? What do you think? Well, the, we already salted it when we put the, the sofrito and the picada right before the stock, and that should be enough. It's already measured to be enough. 
So once it's done, if you put salt on top, it's gonna stay on top. It's not gonna go under and it's gonna be uneven. Right now it should be perfectly salt. That's why you're the chef. When do we get to try this, chef? It's been three to four minutes, I think, so we can try it right now. I'm gonna try to find some chicken. Oh, it smells so good. What do you think, chef? How did it taste? I think it's great. I can keep my job for now. I think it's good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So let's go over the prices. Again, you can get for $18, you're getting a Booyah prepped paella kit, everything you need that's for the chicken, yes. $20 for the shrimp and calamari, and $20 for the beef. Yes. You can also... You can also get this fancy Booyah apron that I've been rocking out for $16. And the pan is another 20 if you don't have something that's as shallow uh, as the actual Paella pan. All right, Chef, thank you so much. I hear everything's 15% off right now at Booyah. To go, yes. Anything to go is 15% uh, off, yes. This is such a great, I'm so glad we got to do this with you. You were the first uh, locavore feature that we did where we worked with we highlight uh, dishes from local restaurants and yours was the first one that we ever did. So it's just like a full circle uh, awesome. for the anniversary that we get to try to make it with you. Yeah, thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. I do. Thank you, you're easy, you're easy to support. Thank you, thank you, Brendan. Enjoy. Stop being so handsome, you're, you're ruining my show. Thank you. <laughs>